beautiful souls. I wasn't going to do this reading, but something summoned me to do another one today. So um, this message is probably going to get out. And please remember it won't resonate for everyone. It could uh, resonate with you whenever you're seeing this message as well. So yeah, yeah. Um, the main theme of this reading we got here on the little... On the little some of you could be artists but i put it up on here right the theme of this reading is sacrifice and gratitude so i'm actually getting whoever this message is for <laughs> you've already made some kind of sacrifice all right i don't know when you made this sacrifice but when you had to make the sacrifice there was a lot of fear that you felt about it but I'm getting that you, for some reason, you decided to reassure yourself, fill yourself with love, feel what you needed to feel. And you could even be in that energy right now, right? But right now, it's more like you feel gratitude for this sacrifice, okay? Now, for some of you, this may be way, this may be like a future timeline reading where you could be about to sacrifice something and this is like the timeline you'll end up in. You know what I mean? Like really grateful that you chose to let something go, a habit, uh, some items, a person, a home, right? Something like that could have been a business, a platform, right? It's something you sacrificed. And if you ain't grateful about it now, you're going to be really fucking grateful for it because this sacrifice is the thing that is going to be it's going to be very obvious to you how it has it's going to it's how it's assisted you to call all of your power back to you okay like all of all of your power and it's like in the future you're going to be safe very safe sitting in your power right this may be a new role some of you guys are playing um but i can see that you've done the work you know and you're not afraid about this sacrifice anymore. You're not afraid because the rune that I pulled is kind of similar to the rune I pulled in the other reading I did today. But this one's about joy. This is about joy of life, prosperity, well-being, self-worth and fellowship. Like, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so much joy in this energy. Like, it's... It's actually so beautiful, but tell us more about this sacrifice. So I'm going to do a... Uh... Okay, so for some of you, this sacrifice at the moment, you know, you guys may be in a pause. You may be in some kind of pause period where you've been, you know, you could be reaping rewards from things that you've put a lot of effort into in the past. Okay. But right now you're like reflecting, you know, you're feeling, you're seeing things from a higher perspective. You could also be working, you know, but I just feel like you're not running from yourself. You know, like if you do get sad about whatever your sacrifice was, you'd be feeling that, right? Because you know that fear is a call for love. That's why. And you have figured this out in the past. So you are potentially playing in the light instead of playing in the darkness at this point in your journey right and that that includes within yourself and within the world um so i'm seeing some of you want to start planning um or you have a decision to make okay um between two things now oh shit oh shit Shit, that's so good. Um, yeah. If this is your message, I, I feel like you're a very powerful manifester. You've already manifested something in the physical realm, okay? But you may have had whatever you sacrificed. It's like it's for the greater good. Um, it's to actually push you into your power. Now, what's going on here? Some of you may not be seeing that you've actually unraveled yourself. I don't know who this bit is for, but you guys, someone out there was dealing with an extremely narcissistic individual, okay? This is someone who actually could have been in a position of authority, a position of leadership. They might have been a business owner. Um, 
this is a very dominating energy okay this is a very toxic energy this is someone who has serious control issues all right and this person was trying to bind you to them mentally they were trying to keep you trapped or stuck on them mentally all right you guys have actually unraveled yourself from this person so how did you do that i don't know how you did that but that could have been what your sacrifice was okay and you could be very grateful that you sacrificed that person understandably why understandable why now i'm getting some of you are avoiding right now <laughs> you could be avoiding a water sign um that could be the person that you sacrificed you may be avoiding a water sign because you have a lot of feelings for that water sign but you're going through the healing period of releasing that person due to it could have been due to some kind of mistreatment or them not seeing your worth so whatever they did like it pulled you away from your power and tell us more about this sacrifice please spirit i just feel like you built something built something up to break it down um and it's reminding me of that Abel Hart song. I'ma drive it like I stole it. Hey, I'ma keep the wheels burning. I firm it. Hey, I want it all cause I deserve it. Steady working. Everything I got, I earn it. I ain't hurting. I'm looking back like, damn, that was worth it. Hold up, baby. Let me just vibe. Feeling so motivated. Detonated. Blow it all up so I can recreate it. Destination. I don't need to make it. I already made it. Oh, shit. How hard does that resonate? <laughs> you know, I'm getting like you are a scary manifester because you understand that like to make a sacrifice is also a part of you co-creating, right? Or just being a creator in general. Um, some of you may have sacrificed a team of people. Like take that how it resonates, a group. Like this could have been a large following all right some of you sacrificed your position of power some of you sacrificed these relationships right some of you stopped following certain people i don't know if you guys heard about the whole fucking global block party going on but yeah i heard about that <laughs> let me know if you guys are on board with that block party um you know where they're blocking all the celebrities and if you don't know that's what they do and there's this big long list it's going crazy on TikTok, man. Um, they're blocking all the celebrities, right? This is it's the Phoenix rising, like globally. So anyway, <clears throat> tell us more about this sacrifice, right? You guys sacrificed things that were making you feel trapped. You guys sacrificed mind games. You sacrificed <clears throat> being people pleasers, right? You may have even sacrificed an old version of yourself. Um, some of you stopped being rebellious in some way. Some of you stopped breaking the rules. Like maybe you had some kind of bad habit and you stopped doing that, right? Maybe some of you sacrificed a motorbike, right? Or sacrificed a, a vehicle, okay? Or like an item is what I'm getting. And... I'm getting like, you know, God, the universe, prime source creator be out here. And I feel it through these cards, you know, reminding you of how safe you are and always have been because of this sacrifice that you made. So what are they going to get for this sacrifice? Well, first thing you're going to get is just joy, harmony, well-being, good health. Okay. So what you're going to get is the end of confusion with a, with a, this could be an air sign for some of you, someone that was just mean to you and all you showed them was unconditional love. They were mean, they were sneaky, bruh. they were trying to cause chaos in your energy. Yeah, you know, like not to mention, man, I could just go off on this motherfucker. <laughs> this motherfucker, let's get it looking to the emperor in reverse, but for some of you, you know, you're going to have a lot of gratitude because the confusion, the, the clouds are going to go away, right? Whatever was causing you to feel confused, it's like you're just going to have clarity, okay? It's like a cloudy day turns into the most beautiful, sunny, blue sky day with not a cloud in the sky. 
And that's because you're calling your power back. Um, some of you are going to go through a major glow up with the Empress out here. Okay, you could have had this Emperor in reverse trying to stop you from undergoing a transformation or trying to block you, bro. Like, there was an Emperor out there in the collective. This Emperor in reverse trying to... I'm hearing tame. Tame an Empress, right? But this is a false Divine Masculine. Like, oh, that's just... I don't like that energy. Okay? Some of the things coming for you guys because of this sacrifice is new love, you know, platonic or romantic. There's new love coming where I feel like you'll be respected. Your energy be will be reciprocated. Okay. And for those who sacrificed idols, what can they expect? Right. So some of you may have... If you sacrificed items or like assets, right? I'm getting this could it could have been something you were very passionate about. Um, you know, maybe you look back and you think about it. Oh, I missed that thing. You know, really missed that. Um, but at the same time, there's a reason. Like you got a lot of gratitude too. So I'm seeing that the thing coming towards you guys is financial stability or some kind of savings right some of you might have sacrificed something so that you could live your purpose okay knowing that your purpose was full of prosperity okay and i feel like if that's you and you sacrificed items something new is coming in quickly okay some some kind of financial stability is coming in quickly the angels are supporting this yeah it's not only financial stability it's generational wealth so it's like yeah you choosing to live your purpose is bringing you a lot of prosperity, you know, um, it's bringing you a lot of abundance, it's bringing you a lot of celebration, baby, like, it's just gonna, when I say joy is coming to you, cheer is coming to you, you kicking your goals, right, all from moving on, all from moving on from whatever this is you sacrificed, what else are they getting rewarded with for this sacrifice, because it may not have been easy for you guys, you know, for some, it may have been a quick decision. Just boop, that's easy done. But for others, you're going to find that something you'll get out of this is character development, right? Your intuition increasing. Um, you opening up to different, maybe potential talents of yours. You opening up to different gifts of yours. You opening up to experimenting in different ways. You continuing to be a curious individual right on what you can do and what you can bring to the world um you know i feel like you guys you may also be like compelling honesty to come out of people because of this sacrifice you made right um and yeah this is what hey now hey now this is what dreams are made of have you ever wondered what life is about? Do, 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 do. You could search the world and never figure it out. You don't have to sail the ocean. No, no, no. Man, happiness is no mystery. It's here and now. It's you and me, yeah. So yeah, some of you might like to watch Disney when you were younger. I'm even getting somebody could actually be going on to Disney or something. All right. Or you could be on going on to TV or going on to, yeah, so it's something like that. I'm getting that. Um, but you're going to have that happily ever after, right? Living in your purpose. Okay. So believe in the impossible right now, gang, because there is so much magic around your energy. You are very divinely supported, um, but I really feel like you know that, okay? Because you calling your power back is like calling the unicorns to line up, like behind you. You know what I'm saying? It's like calling the calling the rainbows into alignment, like into like to shine onto you. That's what you calling your power back is, okay? It's like calling the angels, 
right? Some of you may have a lot of angels that protect you, but I mean, it's like, it's like calling out to the universe and all the angels just joining, like all your ancestors just joining in one by one, do, 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 do. And it's just like a whole arena, man, the cosmic arena of ancestors, angels, um, etheric beings, fourth dimensional beings, like coming through for you. Okay, all, all of them assisting you to I want to say all assisting you to be to look deeper into things and to look deeper within yourself as to why you do certain things right um, and it's really powerful because you know, I feel like they, they always make sure that your intention or you, you know, they these beings, I feel like your spiritual support always makes sure that your intention is in the right place, right? And that your heart is in the right place. Because at the end of the day, all the material things in the world, they don't mean anything. But at the same time, they do, right? We're all creating this reality. And, you know, I really was, I was talking to my friend the other day about how everything in this world, you know, like, is feminine, and it's funny because, you know, like, in society, people assume, like, especially men would assume that women are attracted to masculinity, <laughs> but the, the matters of the fact being, women are just as attracted to femininity, and if you look around, like, everything in this world was created by ego, but also creative energy, you know what I mean, so what are women what are women and people really attracted to it's it's jewelry like it's jewelry it's shiny things it's anything that's been created right so like i guess what i'm saying is <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying but you have guides out here that help you navigate your way through haters right through people that want to publicly humiliate you through people that want to mock you right what's the story of jesus how many times did jesus get mocked I don't know why I'm saying that, but someone may resonate with that. You know, exactly. It's time. Like, you got all these freaking men. I'm just seeing a lot of... I'm just seeing dragons, unicorns, fairies. You got this whole team. <laughs> and it's not just five, man. It's not just seven. Like, this is a whole arena of ancestors, right? If there was a tree, it's just like every leaf on that tree is like an ancestor that's just backing you up right now, right? Through the multiverse. And they're all helping you, okay? And they're helping you because it's time for you to step into this power, okay? Because your power and you being in your power is just the most magical thing, you know, for the world, for your future, right? Some of you could be a queen, you could be a princess, right? I am getting heavy on the divine feminine energy in this read today. So some of you may be very, um, you know, creative. You have a golden touch, the Midas touch. I'm hearing some, like some of you could be actors, right? And specifically, I'm picking up on an actor that was dealing with this very controlling emperor in reverse. So this may be very specific for someone. Your name may start with S. Oh, you could have these in your um, name. E. A and W, okay? You may have these letters in your name, right? This is for someone who is some kind of actress, okay? Or is some kind of actress, right? You may still be sort of dealing with that person, you know? You may be back and forth about them because I am picking up that it's it's a very t fucked up masculine bro like that's a control freak like this could be a um i'm hearing like sugar daddy for some of you right or it could be somebody that you know they're into some really dark shit and they, they would this is not a motherfucker that would take accountability right they would always try to push the blame onto you um or try to make you feel inferior to them right but I think that whoever you are, you may understand that there's like, I get this vibe off you where you understand there's, you know, there's power in 
domination, but also submission. And you may have submitted to this person for whatever reason, right? It could have been for some reason, like financially. You know, I, I don't resonate with this at all. And this is, a, this is a very important message for somebody, right? Someone could be in the public eye. Okay, this person may have thrown you off. If you're an actor, right, like you could be in the public eye. You could also be very intuitive. So this person actually threw you off your game. Okay, and this is why you had to sacrifice this person. Okay, like maybe they promised you that you guys would do something together or make it together or some bullshit, but not. They were actually sent as a big distraction from you gaining some kind of success, achievement or recognition. And they could have tried to block you right like and i don't mean block you on the phone i mean block you from having your your win okay so you chose to stop fighting that person you chose to start listening to your head over your heart with that person and if that part is for you baby like everything is about to turn in your favor so you should really give yourself a pat on the back for sacrificing that motherfucker because that motherfucker don't deserve you i told you man gang 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 i'm telling you, you got multi-dimensional protection right you guys are the most protected in the entire multiverse all right yeah something about spiciality okay someone could be someone could be very in touch with their you know spicy energy all right and especially if that was that emperor in reverse right for others, this could be that water sign that you are avoiding. Um, you know, it may be a brother that some of you are avoiding or had to sacrifice temporarily or permanently. But somebody sold their soul out, you know. I feel like somebody sold their soul out to, I want to say like, they demons, bro. They, they demons. So they could be, <clears throat> what do they call it? Like a nymphomaniac. Maybe they're hypersexual. Maybe they, um, you know, and I'm not shunning it, but yeah, Spirit's saying that's the truth. So this is a confirmation for someone. I'm not here to shun anybody's sexuality, you know, because I know how sacred that is and how how beautiful it is. It's a, it's something, and it's creative energy, exactly. Like, you know, I think a lot of people misunderstand that kind of energy in this world. Um, and the people that don't understand it within themselves are the ones that do get you know, hijacked by their own demons, by other demons that feed off that sexual energy, that feed off that creative energy. And this person, like you'll notice guys, like whoever they are, they would have come into your life and just like your creative and sexual energy would have started becoming depleted. And you may have not been able to show up online as much as you wanted to or create as much as you wanted to, okay? To invest in the things that you had long-term plans towards. So this is a message of encouragement if that is you please continue doing what you're doing because you're so fucking good at it, okay? You bring a lot of joy, you bring a lot of happiness to the world and the world needs that, okay? You're going to get wish fulfillment, you're going to be in the spotlight. This is something for someone who's going to be in the public eye. So yeah, that's good news. Truth. It's really in around, not today, not today, Junior. So uh, I'm just going to get one of these messages here from the dragons because I feel the dragons in this right dragon of the ancient ones as you become members of your clan you will look f you will look as you become an elder the members of your clan will look to you for wisdom and experience ancient soul you are to be respected and honored as you grow old okay so no matter what age you are you have an ancient soul right this could be why people are very attracted to you um, for some of you, right? And that's what I mean about when you call your power back, it's literally like calling all the ancient elders and ancestors and ascended masters to come and gather, right? Locked and loaded. Like, they all backing you up. Like, they are your SWAT team. But they'll just make things happen through what appears to be like magic you know some of you don't even understand or see how divinely protected you are because you got these beings all the time working for you moving stuff around for you distracting people from you like 
you know, bringing you, bringing you ideas, bringing you downloads, bringing you trinkets, totems, signs of confirmation, right? So you are, you are a very ancient soul, you know? And it's like, yeah, when, and I'm getting like, when you cry, when you, when your tears come out or when you speak out, like it's heard from the angelic realms, like your tears roll up into the higher realms. You know what I mean? Angels hear you cry. That shit echoes through the multiverse. So when I say you're ancient, like you're very important, you know, you're more important than you think. So yeah, you're, and your imagination is very powerful. So it can be used as an ally or it be can become your enemy. Okay, so the dragons are trying to show you how to devote your creative mind to the service of your greatest potential. So I'm just going to say whoever you are, you have like the mind of a dragon. And that's because, um, you know, you probably found that you, you're able to find solutions for things quite easily in your life, right? But right now, you need to be very empowered, okay? Feel empowered. Feel your power coming back to you because you're going to see in the near future, your power is all coming back to you. Okay, and that means all your dragons, all your unicorns, all your fairies, they're all rocking up, right? All your angels, all your ancestors. That's what it means when you call your magic back, all the rainbows. Like, like I'm literally envisioning in my mind, like just this, someone standing on the ground and like rainbows going around them like a, like a spotlight, like just moving like this. It's just beautiful and it's coming from the heavens. So you are like a portal okay this is this is what this is saying you're like a portal for higher dimensional information energies multi-dimensional information and energies to come through right you're a portal for these things these energies to be birthed through right and that's your creative energy so you know you might bug the fuck out of people you might irritate some people people may not understand why you do what you do or why you make the decisions you make but it's not their job, you know, and it's not your job to explain to them, right? Like I say, this is a multidimensional multimedia show. So you guys are back on stage. Guess what? If you're incarnated here, you're on the stage. It doesn't even matter if you're in the public eye or not. You're on stage, gang. <laughs> okay? So you may as well give give everybody a show, you know? Don't expect anybody to understand you. Or what, you know, this is all about your connection with God and your higher self. That's all that matters, right? You have a you have this whole journey, this whole map to explore. You have this whole, like, land to chart. And you've got all these beings assisting you to do that. And the dragons are helping you fix your situations. They're helping give you the strength that you need through these sacrifices you've had to make. Okay, these beings, they see how much you have become self-reliant. Okay, some of you have been healing from this shit you had to sacrifice. You've been trying to repair yourself, put yourself back together and shit. Right? But don't neglect your inner child. Remember to play. You know what I mean? Remember to play. And that's why I'll never let nobody on my channel, even if you tell me I'm laughing too much or whatever the fuck means. I ain't never going to stop playing. It's the Polynesian power. <laughs> that's right. That's my ancestors saying. You can't tell me to stop laughing, man. All right. No matter who want to gang stalk, you know. And this is just proof of how much you guys are protected by your ancestors. You know, this should give you that new perspective moving forward. Um, don't resist what you're being called to do right now. Um, just do the things that make you feel good. Okay, do the things that make you feel good. Sometimes you got to put in that hard work, that work that nobody else wants to put in to get your resources, you know, to get your wins. But it's very important for you to embrace your inner child, embrace your imagination moving forward. All right, because if you ain't, like I said earlier, if you are not grateful for the sacrifices you've made yet, you will be so grateful soon. Okay. You are the phoenix, gang. You are you are more than magic. You are more than magic. You are more than ancient. And I mean it like 
just try like try and ask your angels or your ancestors for something like give them give them an hour i'll give you one hour to help me do this they'll do it you know what i mean because <laughs> your purpose is that important and they want you to know how much they're there for you and how much they support you so you know tell them send me a blue feather if you want a clear sign from your ancestors um you know tell them send you something that's just super weird like a quail egg or something <laughs> and you don't live in china like <laughs> you know what i mean just ask them for something really random and they'll bring it to you all right so i'm just gonna grab some of these cards i feel called to it Okay, yeah. So you've got responsibility and prosperity. And that's what's coming into your life. Right? So this is that thing about character development you guys were learning or have been learning is that nothing good in this world comes comes without sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? And you guys are people who are going to be very responsible with the prosperity that comes with your life purpose. Okay? It's just that you've been going undergoing a very magical transformation, all right? So just be aware of that, okay? And if you and have gratitude and have grace for what is going on in your life and what you did have to sacrifice because there's a bigger picture to this, baby. Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. See heaven's got a plan for you. Right? You could be blessed with sight blessed with positive side it doesn't mean you can't see the negative in things but i tell you what people people out there in this world they be cursed with their negative perceptions on things they be creating realities for themselves it's just so unpleasant so your sight is blessed okay maybe some of you had an eye condition and you got your sight back right <laughs> funny i think the whole world was suffering from an eye condition right like <laughs> the 144 pulled up why <laughs> right get the big picture gang i love you so much you let me know if this resonated continue to go with the flow drink your pure water think them pure thoughts and i'll see you guys in my next readings 32 23 is big mirrored energy today have a great day gang